And now, it's time for another Dice Tower Review with Tom Vassell. Caption, if you can, is the third game from Phil Harding in Adventureland Games. He made a big splash, in my opinion, with the, the Archaeology, the card game. That was just a fantastic card game. But this one here is not a card game. This is a party game for the four players. It's the kind of game that people play on the internet all the time. And uh, often, as is often the case with these party games, an idea that people do is take it and package it into a box. So let's take a closer look at the funny game of Caption If You Can. The main thing that Caption If You Can comes with is a big pile of pictures. These look like silly pictures that you might find if you're simply stumbling around the internet. Uh, they can, you know, they, they can be maybe heartwarming pictures, they can be disgusting pictures, uh, pictures that can be interpreted quite a few different ways. And so these cards are all double-sided. They have two pictures on both sides, and the picture may be that of somebody who uh, is beautiful, or maybe someone less flattering. And in the course of the game, what players are going to be doing is they're going to be writing down a caption for a picture. So what player does on their turn is they pick a picture. Let's say this is the picture picked. They put this on a table. This person is the reader who puts this on a table. And everybody, including the reader, is going to write a caption. That is done on these slips of paper or scrap paper when this runs out. And you simply write a caption down. Once this happens, each uh, the reader will shuffle all of the captions and read them out loud. So let's say, for example, he gets the first one here from Bob R. House who says, Mr. and Mrs. Smith enjoyed a quiet evening together. Ha 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 ha! Okay. Uh, Crassly Rude writes, your mom. That's all he wrote and puts that down there. Corny says, birds of a feather read together. Oh, thanks, Corny. And Vassal says, shut the door. And so those are the different ones. Each, everyone then who has heard these captions votes for their favorite, which is marked in the corner. And we can see here, on this slip of paper, Vassal got three votes, uh, more than everybody else. When that happens, then woo! There's some jewels included with the game, some little plastic gems that look valuable, and of course they aren't. Uh, you take one for each one that you've gotten. The game also comes with pencils, which are used to write down the captions. Everyone gets a chance to be the reader one time, and then the person with the most gems is the winner. If you need to, you can have a tiebreaker. Pretty simple, right? Uh, maybe those of you watching this have played such a game. I've, I've played them myself on the internet where someone puts up a silly picture and everyone writes a silly caption. That's all this is. Uh, I suppose that maybe some of the defects of this are that eventually you're going to run out of pictures, but since you're only using maybe four or five over the course of the game, then I think that it, the game should last for quite a while, and if you wanted to, you could probably just pull up any old picture and play the game with. Now you might say, well, why buy this game when you know it's a public domain game? But it does put the pictures together. Who has a bunch of weird and crazy pictures around? Another problem with the game is creativity. If, for example, if you play with someone who has none, they're going to have a difficult time writing it down. Uh, a funny-looking clown. You know, the, the, their captions won't be as interesting. The person who can write the funniest or is the wittiest will probably win. But if you get a group of people together who are funny and who are witty to some degree at least. Uh, it can really be funny, especially as jokes pile upon other jokes. It has a very similar feel to other party games in this genre, like Why Did the Chicken? And so I think this is a decent party game. If this is the kind of thing that appeals to you, to take a picture and just say, well, how can I make fun of that? How can I say something funny that will make everybody laugh? Did you ever want to be that person? The guy who says something and everyone goes home remembering that funny line? Well, this is the game that gives you the chance. Thanks for joining us today. For more written, audio, and video reviews, as well as the number one board game podcast, check out the website at www.thedicetower.com. Until then, this is Eric Summerer, and you've been watching The Dice Tower.